This morning, the families of two American and one Haitian missionary are searching for answers and a way to bring their loved ones home. According to Oklahoma-based charity Missions in Haiti, 23-year-old Davy Lloyd and his wife, 21-year-old Natalie, were ambushed, shot, and killed, as was the group's Haitian director, Jude Montes. Well, I got a call from Jude again, and they had barricaded uh, Davy and Natalie and Jude in my home. Um, and there, the yard was once again full of guys with guns and just uh, shooting at the house. Davy's father runs missions in Haiti. He tells us the attack happened as the group left a church with children. And he just loved Haiti, and he told us as a young kid that he said, someday I'm going to be a missionary here. Natalie Lloyd's father, Missouri State Representative Ben Baker, posted, My heart is broken in a thousand pieces. I've never felt this kind of pain. Violence has surged across Haiti since February, with criminal gangs taking control of the country. President Joe Biden standing alongside Kenyan President William Ruto just hours before the latest ambush, saying the U.S. will lend support to a Kenyan-led security mission in Haiti. We can build with this way with a multinational approach. Our Selena Wang sat down with Kenya's president and asked him about the 1,000 police officers heading to Haiti. A group of missionaries, including Americans, were killed in Haiti last night by gangs. Can the Kenyan forces stop that kind of violence? Yes. We believe we have what it takes. I think we have the best chance to deal with the gangs and to secure Haiti once and for all. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.